and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today. Today we're going to talk about your child's first dental visit because I see in the comments a lot about Nina, when is the first time I'm supposed to bring my little baby to the dentist? When they're born, when they're six months, when? So today I'm here to answer all those questions and hopefully be helpful. Also, we're gonna talk a little bit about teething. It's like, what do you do? You're at home, it's the middle of the night, your child's crying, has a fever. What do you do when you can't reach your dentist? So today is a fun video for me because you guys know how much I love kids and so much passion for what I do. And I really want to give you guys a couple of tips so it can be a little bit more helpful to you before you're able to take your child to the first dentist. And hopefully with the tips that I give you, take your child early enough so that we can avoid a lot of future problems. All right, first things first. Everybody asks me all the time, Dr. Nina, Nina, when should I take my child for their first appointment? And this is, again, remember you guys, always talk to your own dentist, to your own, health, to your own healthcare professional. On my channel, I'm just giving you advice that I know into almost 20 years of practice as a dentist. So this is Dr. Nina's answers. Your child's first dental visit should be either around six months of age or when the first tooth erupts. Now, when you go to the dentist, if they talk about eruption, what does that mean? It simply means when the teeth are coming through the gums and you'll see it, you'll see a little tip of a white little thing. Sometimes I have parents coming to the office, Dr. Nina, what is this? We're so scared. Is something wrong? I'm like, oh no, no, you can calm down and relax. Those are just the teeth erupting, meaning the teeth coming through the gums. Now, usually the first teeth to come to erupt are the bottom front two teeth right here and they usually come together around age six months of age so that's usually what i recommend you bring your child to see me that's when i'd like to see them when i see those first two teeth around six months of age now let's say your child doesn't have any teeth i ran into this office actually yesterday I had a one year and a one month old without any teeth in the mouth Mom came to me for the first time, scared. Doctor, I don't know what to do. The pediatrician says he should have the teeth. He seemed like he was eating well, a very well balanced young boy. And I said, do not panic. We took two x-rays, one of the top front and one of the bottom front. I saw all the teeth that he should have. They're just under the gum. So I let the mom know his genetics is involved with it too. Some kids, they get their teeth by three months of age. Some kids not till a year, year and a half. This video is to help allow you guys to relax a little bit at home and not be so scared until you're able to see your own child's dentist and make sure everything is okay. The sooner you bring your child to the dentist, the sooner they're gonna build a rapport with us. For example, the sooner I see, let's say Kimberly at the office, the sooner Kimberly is gonna to get to know Dr. Nina and the staff and feel more comfortable. So when she comes back, and I recommend every six months for a child's visit, when she comes back every six months, she's gonna be like, oh, that's the same doctor, it's the same staff, and she'll feel more and more comfortable. After about six months of age, once the front two bottom teeth come up, most children usually develop or they rub the top front teeth. We would see the two what we call central or the top two middle front teeth come up and it's so cute when they do i love baby teeth and eventually the side ones and then some of the bottom ones come up so usually most kids end up with their top four front teeth top four bottom teeth before they erupt any of their molars now i get a lot of parents asking me again how often do i bring my child to the dentist my recommendation and the American Pediatric Association's recommendation is every six months. However, every doctor feels differently. Some doctors might say once a year, if the child has some conditions that we need to look at, sometimes you might say, I'd like to see the child once a month or once every three to four months. So everyone's individual case is different. However, the general norm is every six months. Now let's talk about some other things that as a parent, especially a lot of you who are first time parents, might be a little weird about teething. A lot of you guys have commented and also every day in my practice, parents come to me, I don't know what to do, what's happening doctor, I'm so scared. Uh, my child is running a fever, they're drooling a lot, there seems to be redness in the mouth, the gums are swollen, what's going on? And I look at them and I say, don't worry at all. They look at me so scared, like, how do you say don't worry? I've seen this for almost 20 years. Your child is teething. Now some children, you won't even know that they're teething. 
For example, Nicolette went through a really tough teething phase, but my younger daughter Blair, nothing at all. All her teeth came out, I didn't even realize, I'm like, oh my goodness, I didn't even hear her cry, there's no fever, no agitation, but Nicolette, poor thing, she went through every single step. And thank you, Nicolette, it was first time mom, but thank God I was a dentist and I was able to handle it. However, I can only imagine if you don't know the steps of teething and you're at home and you're not able to reach your doctor, it's over the weekend or whatnot, and you're wondering what to do. Some of the symptoms are teething. Number one, fever. Your child might also drool a lot. You come to, I have a lot of my patients coming to the office and their child is drooling. I said, oh, your baby's teething. So don't worry if you get a little fever. Sometimes they also get really cranky or edgy. They might not want to eat because their mouth hurts or they're just crying the whole night and you're like, well, uh, I don't know, I fed them, I gave them the bottle, um, their diapers changed, I don't think they have a stomach problem. What could it be? Don't underestimate teething discomfort because it can be painful. The child will be drooling, high fever, tenderness in the gums, and crying all night long. And what do we do at that time when it's two in the morning and again, you're not able to go anywhere other than the emergency room? I like to put, I always tell my patients, you can get baby Orogel and put the tiniest little amount with a very dry and sterile Q-tip on the affected area. Again, tiny, less than a pea size amount to the point that the baby does not swallow it, but it just numbs the gums and relieves the pain. Number two, there's a lot of different teething rings or teething toys out there. Remember, cold helps with the pain. So put the teething toys, teething rings in the freezer and give one of those to your baby. And when they chew on it, it relieves the pain because it freezes the area so your baby doesn't feel the pain as much. Also remember, you could put cloths Again, clean ones in the freezer, freeze them a little bit, and put it on the outside of your baby's cheeks. Now, these are all at-home remedies that can really help alleviate the pain until you're able to go see your dentist. Now, over-the-counter pain relievers as well, as directed by your pediatrician or by your dentist, can also be helped to help ease the pain for the patient. A lot of times, I used to let my uh, patients know I. And I also let my patients know that they can go ahead and freeze. Now these are some of me, Dr. Nina's um, uh, tips, is you can freeze cucumbers, obviously take all the seeds out, and as long as they're able to chew on, uh, chew on the cucumber when it's frozen, it does help alleviate the pain. You can always freeze a banana as well. You make sure you're monitoring your baby if you give them a frozen cucumber or frozen banana or any other frozen food to help alleviate the pain. Again, they're babies, they might not chew properly, they don't have enough teeth, and you wanna monitor them closely with that. Some of the other symptoms is some babies get diarrhea along with a high fever. Don't worry, again, it's natural, it's normal. As soon as the tooth comes through the gums, all of these symptoms will go away. It doesn't last forever. Now, for some babies, it could be teething pain of one tooth. Some babies have seen that they're getting five, six teeth at once, and yes, it does happen because everyone's different. So they might just be suffering a little bit more than others. If you have any questions, make sure you always go see your dentist or your pediatrician to make sure that your baby's okay and it's just teething and nothing else. And sometimes, let me let you know, you might see little boils. So it seems like there's a tooth that's coming, but it's a big boil over the tooth and you're concerned. So make sure you see your dentist, but those are what we usually call like, again, eruption cysts. So it's like the tooth is trying to really go through the gum, but it's having a hard time and you can see your dentist and we can help prescribe um, some medication or help tell you what to do to alleviate the symptoms. I had a patient in my office the other day, poor baby was about two and a half years old and she had four little big bumps in the back areas where the molars were coming and mom was very concerned. They were red and they were bleeding. So obviously I cleaned the area, put her on some medication, gave her some tips for teething and mom came back to me after a couple days and said, thank you so much, Dr. Dina. She's doing so much better. And I could see the little buds of the little baby molars and that made me happy. Mom was happy, baby's happy. That means I'm happy. And um, it was a good, joyous day, another great day at the office. So I wanted to let everybody know out there, all the moms, all the dads, all the aunts, all the grandmas, all the grandpas, it's not easy dealing with babies and their health, and it's not easy dealing with babies and their teeth. So remember, that's why we always recommend you take your baby to the dentist at the first sign of the first teeth, 
or as early as six months old to make sure that they get a checkup, make sure you build a report with a dentist, make sure you find a dentist who you like, who your baby likes, so if anything comes up at eight months old or sometimes in the middle of the night, you have a dentist who you can get to immediately and make sure that all the problems are resolved quickly and that your baby has relief symptoms right away. And so do you, because I know sometimes parents, we worry so much. And I hope that the tips that I gave in today's video are really helpful and help hopefully some of you first time parents, second time parents, some grandmas who are babysitting for the kids over the weekend, help you get through some of these teething steps, some problems associated with baby's teeth. With that said, make sure you guys like this video, comment down below some problems you might have had with your baby's teething. I'd like to know maybe, and some remedies you might have tried, your dentist might have told you, or your pediatrician. I would love to learn, because you guys know I love to learn every day. And make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications, because there's a lot of amazing informative new videos coming up. And with that said, remember, always keep flossing.